Hi everyone, it's Anne from Annalise Creates, Annalise Creations. I'm here to show you how to do a card, simple card, using an index card of the week or index card of, you know, a day, I should say. And the one that I'm showing, just showed you, is from a series I did earlier in the year called Index Card of the Week. And I believe this was week seven. And I will post a link to that actual video to show you how I did that particular card and in the meantime the, the one the one card that I'm actually adding a some double-sided tape to was um, some paper I had some cardstock I had that I ran through my Sizzix Big Shop using a embossing folder and I believe this is Tim Holtz's um, embossing folder I think it's called blueprint so I'm just trimming off the edges of the double-sided tape and to add color to this to the cardstock that I used I used some I believe it was stays on ink in the saddle brown I'm not quite sure but I think that's what I used and as you can see I'm kind of struggling getting the backing off I just cut my nails and so I'm having issues getting the backing off the uh, tape. If you guys have any any um, suggestions on how to get this double-sided uh, the backing off the double-sided tape, please add a comment at the bottom. It would make my life so much easier to figure out a way of getting double-sided tape off much easier. Anyhow, so I'm sticking it on. I'm just kind of figuring out where the center is, sort of. And the other side is torn, and I kind of like that look, kind of giving it kind of a distressed type look. And I don't know what I was reaching for there, but anyhow, so now I'm looking to see how, um, where I'm going to put the card, and I'm kind of putting it towards the bottom because I'm leaving some space at the top of the card for some lettering I'm going to be putting on this card. So I'm leaving some space for that. And I'm now putting some double-sided tape onto the index card. And I'm going to trim it off the edges with using my itty bitty scissors. These are travel scissors that I use. And like I said, I was too lazy to go downstairs to get my good scissors. So I'm using these itty bitty travel scissors I use when I travel. I take those. So I'm taking off the double-sided tape and I'm struggling with it like I said so if you have any suggestions please um, post a comment at the bottom if you've got an easier way of taking off the double-sided tape. And this is really thin double-sided tape not like the thick kind that would like make it stick out a little more that the um, index card I really didn't want it sticking out so far up off the paper so I'm using this really thin double-sided tape that I got at Daiso Japan it's kind of their dollar fifty type store um, I get a lot of my art supplies and craft supplies for much less money from there found some cool things and the scissors I actually found there as well I'm just trimming off the excess uh, double-sided tape off the edges here because I kind of overcut it. Now I'm going to take off the back. And you can see I'm struggling again. Struggling, struggling, struggling. <laughs> oh boy. All right, got it off. Yay! Small victories. Finally got it off. 
so I'm placing it down and I'm leaving some room at the top of this uh, to because I'm going to be adding some lettering at the top and a little bit at the bottom but I wanted to leave more space at the top so it's not quite centered where I you know normally you would center it in in that you know with the background but I'm putting it down a little bit lower so that I can add that lettering on and I noticed a one of the edges of the index card was coming unglued. Some of the stuff that I glued on there was coming undone. So I quickly grabbed some Eileen's tacky glue to glue down that corner to make sure that it stays stuck down. And so you'll see me wipe off the excess and then I'm trying to figure out a way, where do I clean my hands off? What did I do with my paper towel? And so that's why you see me kind of ro roaming around with my fingers like that, my hands, and found some and then decided, okay, wipe it off, the rest off my hands, like that's going to do me any good, but anyhow. <laughs> so that's it for this part. All right, so next I went ahead and I cut out some pieces of some words, some letters, I should say, and I fussy cut them out into squares. And so now I'm gonna glue those down using PPA glue, which I think is perfect, something perfect, something adhesive. Perfect paper adhesive, I believe is what it's called. Um, I take it out of the original bottle because it's harder for me to squeeze. My hands this winter have been giving me a lot of issues with pain and just achiness and so it's easier for me to put it in a smaller bottle and use that instead. So I always write with a sharpie on the top. I, I have a fancy uh, schmancy label maker but I'm too lazy to get it out so I just draw directly, write directly with the sharpie onto the bottle. So anyhow, you'll see me gluing these down, and so enjoy the rest of this part. So I wanted to kind of give it a kind of an uneven look with the with the letters. So at this point, you'll see me putting them in kind of going in diff different directions. I didn't want them to go completely straight across and look, you know, like it's a store-bought card. I wanted to give it a handmade kind of look to it. So that's why you'll see me putting them in kind of at a diagonal, going in different directions, kind of thing. And I know many of you are, you know, I know it's the month of December and you're kind of expecting more Christmassy type stuff from me. And I will have some Christmas stuff coming up in the next week or so. Um, little projects of here and there that I'm going to be doing as Christmas presents for my family. And so I'm, you know, getting those prepared. And some of them are Christmas theme and some of them will be different themes to um, go with my for my family. Um, also, 
be, um, kind of inspired by Kelly Donovan. She just recently posted a video using making a canvas using cardboard. And I happen to have a lot of cardboard laying around and great minds think alike. I was thinking the same thing she was as far as making a canvas, you know, using the leftover um, cardboard to create canvases and make cool little, you know, Christmassy type backgrounds and things. So you'll see me do that coming up in the next week or so. So as I was doing this, my camera shut off, so I had to come back in and, re and start recording again. And I don't know, my camera lately has been doing weird things with the lighting. I've gotten extra lighting in here to make the lighting much better, but for some reason, sometimes when it shuts off in the middle of recording, it somehow changes the lighting. I don't know why, but I have to check, I'm going to have to recheck my settings on my camera and see what's going on. But anyhow, you'll see me continue putting down the birthday part of this card. So my camera shut off again because I ran out of space on my SD card. So um, I had to, I, I cut some of it off. So um, anyhow, I was starting to outline the happy birthday with my Stabilo All Pencil and it kept breaking, the lead kept breaking on it, or should I say the gra well, graphite black color, whatever you want to call it, on the Stabilo All Pencil. So I gave up and got out my pris my uh, prism color, my Posca pen in black. It's a fine one paint pen, and I'm just going around the lettering in the black. As you can see, I'm finishing up outlining the letters, and once I'm done, I will be adding a personal birthday greeting on the inside of this card. It is for someone whose birthday is in December and I'm hoping it will get to them on time. This was a somewhat short video on how to make a card using an index card. Thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a great rest of the weekend and a wonderful week. Until next time, take care and see you again soon. Toodles, bye, listen to some music, it's good for the soul, bye.